but thanks man yeah it looks good yeah. g'day guys luke and ryan here how you going we're chunky travelers blah, 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 blah. uh today we're back in the shed so don't mind the mess we haven't cleaned it yet um but that doesn't matter because today we have got all our parts finally have rocked up so um you probably would have noticed the last episode that we where's it how do we get into this um seeing that the bearings were all stuffed so we got new um, main bearings and conrod bearings there are conrod bearings yeah i'll open it oh, up okay, you yeah, worry sorry, about sorry. your filming mate no worries you've yeah. got to get the good camera angles eh yeah so there are little conrod bearings um there's two lots of them is it yeah. yeah cool yep so conrod bearings and then we got our main bearings these are actually their performance um Right, uh, yeah, performance bearing from ACL. So yeah, they do heaps of cool stuff. This is our rocket cover gasket kit. So it comes with um, our phase, cam phase bearing, uh, seals. Um, what else we got in there? Should have a, Looks um, like a, a throttle key. body, throttle body, seal, fa cam phase seals, and- Are we supposed the, to have three of these? No, two. Uh, hell. I hope I didn't just buy two lots of gaskets for no reason. That might be a front cover seal. Yeah, because one's smaller than the other. Yeah, yeah, so that's definitely the rocket cover. That I imagine it's probably for our front cover. Looks like one of these those bikinis these women wear these days. Uh, I reckon you'd look good in that. I Done. I would. <laughs> 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 That'd be available on our merch store eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we got rocket cover gaskets, probably a main uh, front cover seal. Yeah. Um, we should have had how many of them have we got? Should be six of those. They're probably on it. Oh, yeah, it's a couple yeah, they're of them tucked inside each other. Yeah, so there they'll seal the rocket cover and around the. They're um, on it. Yeah, sweet. Around the um, spark plug holes and stuff. All right, so the other thing was, thanks to Bronick, a good friend of ours. Bronack. Bro neck, yeah. Yeah, give me, you know oh, what? Okay, I'll, 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 I'm gonna film. Okay. Deal. So he sent us some new piston rings because obviously the last episode we stuffed some. Well, yeah, I was gonna say I did, but we did. Oh, well. Um, technically, technically I, I didn't. I started the trend, so. I, I didn't really. I didn't. But uh, yeah, so you gotta send us some second hand, good second hand. So we've got two of them in case we stuff it up again. Um, and also a, a very, if we must use backups, one as well. So that's that, piston rings, bearings, gaskets. We also got um, a front, front time cover gasket, crank gasket, water pump gasket in there, um, which I'm hoping we needed that and I did just waste my money, our money. And a head gasket, which I think we've showed before, but that's ready to go. So that's all our gear. Um, today we're gonna finish our, um, doing our piston ring gaps, do that, throw the bottom end together. Um, and yeah, see where we get to from there, because I'm not going to promise where we're going to get to. No, so today we'll have the rest of the car painted. Uh, we're going to have the new engine in. <laughs> Shut up, bro. <Ryan. laughs> All right, we're back. We yeah. did... Uh, uh, they're under there, don't worry about it. Uh, we did the, get the rest of those rings. Yep, rings are good now, so we've got a full set of pistons and rings ready to go. Um, um, we went and got this honing ball thingy. Yep, cylinder hone. That's it. Um, took us a long time to find it. It was at a mate's place, but we had no idea where it was and he was busy. So, um, but anyway, back to the point, we're going to hone the cylinders. So what you do, we just use this stuff. Use, I just used to use just WD-40, but this is what we had lying around. So it's, it's just same a, thing. yeah, same thing. Lubricant. All you need, just lube it up, give her a spray. Give them a good coat. And, um, yeah. Put it on the best of the best drill you can find, which is this, Milwaukee obviously. Makita. Keep it nice and straight. And what you want to do is just a nice steady speed, which I'll probably put that to one. And all you do, well, you'll see me do it. Just in and out, in and out. Up and down, up and down. Now, how long do you do this for? Uh, honestly, it just depends on how bad your cylinder walls are. Um, ours aren't honestly that bad, so 
Um, you'll see the nice little cross hatch if I get out of the light. That cross hatch, you could probably get steeper cross hatching if you wanted, but the main oh, idea, nice. yeah, the main idea was just to get rid of this lip, which I've still got a little, I've got to do a little bit more, but yeah, just sort of, I don't know, it's just to take the little impurities out. We, I noticed there's some tiny, tiny little scores, so this will take that sort of stuff out of it, so. Now we're going to repeat this process with all 12 of our cylinders and uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. So it's, yeah, same process. Spray, hone, done. And we'll throw some pistons in. Yep. All six of them. Yes. Not 12. I was only joking about the 12, just being silly. <laughs> <laughs> being silly, a silly, silly. Being a silly scallywag. And so after you've... Um, Honed the cylinders, uh, give them a good clean. He's got some 80 grit sandpaper right now. Yeah, just a bit of 80. Finish off on some 240. No, no, no. Oh, we want to do it properly. No, 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 Don't need anything that's nice and fine. I think I overhone this one. My hand fits in here much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a rag. He's just cleaning all the excess uh, lubricant out of it. Yeah, which will take all the fine filings of the cylinder wall off as well, as you can see. That's just all the crap. So we're just chucking in the main bearings now? Yeah, so once you've got the, um, try not to drop them, but yeah, once you've got the cylinders honed and cleaned, you spin them around and we're just going to put the main bearings ready for the crank to go in. Um, so like I said before, we um, got these from Mace Engineering. Um, cheapest we could find actually. Um, and these are their like top of the line. I think we paid, oh no, it's a thrust bearing there. 195, including delivery, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, so that was for Conrod's like big end bearings and crank bearings, main bearings. So all you really got to do, so obviously that's your thrust bearing, so that's this big one. These ones just have a little notch on the, um, yeah, what side would that be? Right hand side of the motor, so exhaust side of the motor, um, which lines up with the little notch on those. And so all I do is I just line that notch up and put it flush at the top and then just crump it, squish it down, get them nice and, and you can see that's where the oil jackets come through, each one. Um, so just make sure that they're nice and flush at the top of the um, each thing and you shouldn't have any dramas. That's the um, intake side. Yeah, it is too. Yep, oil filter side, intake side, yep. Yep. Sorry yep. mate. Professional. Alright, we're lubed up and crank is in. How's it feel? Yeah, it's good. Yep. So that's good, you just make sure all your cap, your bearings are nice and level with each. Um, spot. I think we're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were there. We're no. cheering. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> right, so we got this little duvelacky thingy, a ring um, compressor. Compressor, that's it. Get yeah. me around, mate. Alright, so it does compressor rings. Rings. Oh, well, I did that. that? <laughs> all right, come on, hurry up. Bro, <laughs> can't don't rush me, mate. Don't I ain't got me. all day. All right, so make sure everything's lined up. Got our new bearing in, bit of lube. Um, on the barrows, the valve reliefs are for the exhaust valves. And to be 100% sure, we mark cylinder one, but also there is a little pin punch. I don't know if you can can't see it. See it. So there's a little pin punch, you just have to believe me. And that goes to the front of the motor. So what we've done, we turn the crank. Actually, we probably should turn it back around so that I don't hit it. Yeah, so you get that in there. So you get that lined up and just gently turn. 
And if Boom! Boom boom! That's how it's done. Lovely. In one. Oh, good job. Probably just smashed the crank bit anyway. <laughs> the crank's hanging out of it. <laughs> so step two. I'd love to help you, but I'm the cameraman. I'm the cameraman. I'm doing that. You're gonna film? You gotta hold it really, really. There you go. Hold it real good. And then, hang on. There you go. You can watch the screen and see where you're filming. I'm filming. Oh, I think we found a new camera woman. Camera person? Camera person? <laughs> Alright guys, we've just got one cylinder to go, one piston yeah, to go. Number six. And uh, here we go. Straight in. Just like that. Straight in. Like we've done it six times before. Yeah. I mean five. Five, yeah. <laughs> Good maths. Yeah. Quick maths. <laughs> that sound. Ah. Oh. It must some it must be a Star Wars film that sound sounded like. Oh. <laughs> There's some film. I don't know. Let me know what I'm thinking of in the comments. There will definitely be a Star Wars nut out there for sure. <laughs> Jamin. Yeah. My brother. Might be the Mandalorian. Oh, yeah. I don't mind the Mandalorian. Yeah, it's pretty good, eh? Yeah. I think you think they're doing more. Yeah, I think so. Twentieth of December. I, I hope so. That was like the other day, you know that, right? It's the 26th Sorry today. Out. Yeah, probably. It's the 26th Boxing Day today. Wow, that was good. That took a chunk. You go. Uh, Did I lose six that? that size. Um, I, I am uncertain. Does it look weird? I don't know. I can't no, it. What an idiot. Lucky. Lucky I'm here. Like I told you, you didn't leave it. See this memory skills on him though. Actually, it was probably just because I seen yours leave. I was like, hang on a minute. Yeah, see, I'm all over it. Oh yeah. All right, all right. I took that chunk out of my hand for no good reason. Now, eh? Took that chunk out. Ah. Um, <laughs> That's right. Oh, slow down. Yeah, baby. <sighs> Laughing. Yeah. All right, here you go. It's numbers this side. Why don't you trust me? No, I just, you just gotta double check this stuff. Yep. Oh, we're going out reef fishing again tomorrow. How good? You excited? I am very. Yeah. Very excited. It's gonna be raining, but... Um, It'll be cool. I'd rather be out I'm fishing. I've seasick tablets too. You mind? I was talking. I don't anyway, as I was, I got seasick tablets. So as I was saying, two boxes. And <laughs> as I was saying, I forgot what I was gonna say. Damn it! Reef fishing. Yeah. Gonna catch lots of brim. Oh, I can't wait to catch lots of brim and trevally. But I bought a new fishing rod, and so now he can look good <laughs> catching brim. <laughs> anyway, I bought a new fishing rod and I also bought some braid for my my reel. My reel is 15 years old and I've used it once or twice ever. So that's a it's all about to change. It's like a four hundred dollar reel too. Yeah. What well, Shimano Tinos? Yeah, Tinos 30. Yeah. I too was gonna buy some new stuff but decided I didn't need it. That's very good. Nobody cares. Oh yeah, we're done. Yeah, mate. Pistons are back in. And we don't have to turn it back over, we can just main cap it now. Yeah, but I want to have a look at it. I want to see the pistons on the other side. Mate, do you know how many times I've turned this bugger over? <laughs> <laughs> look at that, eh? Woo! Dirty as. But that's okay. E85 will clean that up. Yep. 7,000 RPM, 25 pound of boost. Corn juice? Yeah, boy. Could be a new show. 25 pounder boost and corn juice. Oh! I'm keeping that. <laughs> yes! It's actually not corn juice though. It is corn juice. Is it? Yeah, E85. I thought that was... Carry on. 
I trust you. Can't take that, by the way. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> We've already got it printed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Patent pending. I got some uh, tears of joy. That was a good one. All right. Was it twenty five pounds of boost? And, of and running, running on corn juice. Full of corn juice. No, burning corn juice. No. Twenty five pounds of boost and burning corn juice. <laughs> Yeah, yes. that's a good one. And then just a barrel with a rod like smashing <laughs> out the side. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Alright, put that away. Okay, bye. What's that talk uh, setting to? Um, 75. 75. I haven't looked yet. But we won't do them until all of them run. Yeah. But, what have we got here? Main bearing caps, 81 to 95. So we'll go 85, 86, go 86. Yeah, let's go 86, or we can go 72. Little top tip, uh, just make sure you put the windage tray on first before your bolts go on, okay? Mm. Don't be like us and put the bolts in. We like to learn on the fly. Yep. And not remember at all how things come apart. Yep. So, <clears throat> yeah, don't forget, windage trade, then bolts. Oh, easy, baby. Yeah, mate. Alright guys, a couple of days have passed since we left you. Yeah, just, just about that three. Bit. Yeah, about seven seconds ago. Um, so we are going to put the head on today. Yep, so bottom end's done. Did that in the last bit. We're gonna put head studs, uh, put the head gasket and the head on. Um, hopefully might even get to doing some of the oil pump and timing, maybe. But I'm not gonna say we will. I'm just hoping we get there. But it's all looking good. I'm really happy with how it's looking. Home looks really nice. Everything's smooth, rotating and everything. So, um, and all our valve recesses are all on the same side. So that's a bonus. <laughs> Is the ARP head studs. Um, these ones, I can't remember much of the specs behind it, but they're the 12 mil head stud, um, which you can put into the factory um, holes. You don't need to machine anything. You can go 14 mil, but that's pretty extreme. We might do that in our next motor, but uh, yeah, just depends. But uh, we got these from um, Custom Alloy Welding on Facebook. Um, he was an absolute champion, got everything out to us really quickly, and um, yeah, even gave us some upgrades here and there um, on top of what we paid. So um, yeah, thanks heaps to, what was his name? Josh. Josh, that's it. All Josh. Over it. Yeah, Josh, he's all over it, yeah. So if you need anything, man, he does everything. Um, custom plenums, head studs, we got all that oil pump gears. Um, oil pump gears, what else we get from him? That um, wire holder, or the... Oh, yeah, he um, threw that in, yeah. He does water fittings, um, like oil feed line stuff, heaps. So yeah, get on Facebook. Anything barrel related, hit him up. Yeah. So that was really helpful, just so we could just get everything all in the one spot for what we're doing. So, but yeah, we'll throw these in, head gasket on, and then I'll give this a quick wipe down again, just to be sure. You could probably go a little, take a little bit more time and make sure you 
deck's pretty good, but that's probably as good as we're going to get it. Um, oh, and I'll tell you what, some of those plenums from Custom Alloy Welding. Oh, yeah. oh, so beautiful. And the colours you can put in them too. Oh. Yeah, so Josh, if you're watching, we would love one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. It would look so good, can we, Rocky Nats. Can we pay it off like 10 bucks a week? <laughs> 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 nah, it's be good. Well, that'll be One each day. ten bucks each a week. Yeah. So oh, yeah, twenty, 20 bucks. bucks. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Man. We'll have that paid off in like three years. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so, saying that they are very reasonably priced too. So. Yeah. So uh, just hand tight for putting these studs in. Yeah. Yep. I thought they'd have to be torqued or something, but now you just put them in hand tight. Make sure your threads are clean. I didn't go overboard, I just blew them out with my built-in air blower. <laughs> that seemed to work good. <laughs> but yeah, if you really, if you are doing like a, you're spending really good money on it, you probably want to make sure you run a tap down them and give them a good clean out with some um, brake cleaner or something. But just so these get good, nice, even torques. <clears throat> All right, cool. Yeah, so we got this from our favourite place in the whole world to buy parts, and that's eBay. And we paid $88, including shipping, didn't we? Mm. So it was nice and cheap, and um, we had it under um, good advice that this will do the job that we want to do. Oh, we put the studs in, but there was two studs missing, two, two left out. These two. <laughs> <laughs> What an idiot. Alright, there we right, go. Classic, yep. So that's her gasket. Sits on there nice. Let's get it down over our. I can't even remember what they call them. What do they call them again? Bloody. Metal. Yeah, they call them something, sorry. Dows? Dows, that's it. Yeah, oh, really? All over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Metal dows, yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, so all I've done to prep the head, I just wire brushed the crap out of them. Um, as gently as I could and then just a bit of brake cleaner to clean all the crap out and then wiped it down so just make sure there's no crap on the on this part especially you want to give that a good clean make sure there's no old gasket either um, same with the block make sure there's no old gasket but I uh, will throw this fella on not as heavy as I remember it's got no cans in it true so as gently as you can Sitting up on the downs there. Yep, there we go. She's on. Cylinder head. <laughs> it's been so long, man. I can't believe we've, um, it, it's just, finally we're getting into it from oh, the thing. I don't know. How good's that though? Just straight down. Oh, I'm excited. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, so then what, we just talk it down? Yeah, we'll, um, so we'll run you through the process. You will be talked down. So I was talking it down. <laughs> talking down to it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, but, so. Yeah, well, and you're never, ever, ever gonna lift, all right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, good. I got it. All right, yeah, I'm glad we, I'm glad we had that little chat with it. <laughs> Should have no issues now. All right. Well, I'm going to quickly change the battery first before you oh, get yeah, into this. Cool. This is five yep. set left. Studs in, head on, gasket, all that stuff. So the with the ARP gear, you get the washers and the nuts. Uh, the washers have to be lubed either side before you place them on um, because it creates a lot more friction because of the being a nut and a washer setup. So you lube everything. You lube the thread of your stud as well. And also you put a little bit inside each nut um, just to help with the torquing process and uh, friction. So yeah, plenty of, well not plenty, just they give you enough to do it all, so. Um, yeah, but other than that, that's about it. Um, you need to torque these up in a, yeah, so. Three what, stage. Three stage, that's the word, yeah. So in three stages, um, ours, so what is it, 100, what, it's just the final torque setting is 100 foot pounds, so you can probably go like 
Foot pound or newton meters? Foot pound. Wow. Uh, foot pound. What's it L? Do, it does both, yeah. Oh, it does both. Yeah, so divide that into three and just do that in the three stages. So you could do 20 on the first round and then could like go to 80. 80 and then do 100. Like it really doesn't matter as long as it's done in three stages. Um, and your final torque is 100 foot pounds. So that'll be, that's the next step. We'll just get all these on, get them all lubed and uh, win a winner chicken dinner. While Ryan was on the toilet, like he always is. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I, um, got the oil pump on, uh, and the, um, sump pickup as well. So just to fire finish up that bottom half section. Um, yeah, so now he's back, we can, uh, talk this head down. Now, talking the head down. Yes. Ducked off, got an extension because we lost ours. I don't know why that's going, but yeah, 12 point sockets, size 14 for the head studs. Um, we're going to go 40, um, 80, 100 foot pounds. And it's just that circle pattern that I've been showing you for the whole thing, really. Show them again because I missed that bit. So I've done this one. You can feel the stud moving. Oh, so that's why they say. Finger tight or oh, hand tight for the studs yeah. into the block, exactly. and then the because when you do this, it will tighten it in. Yeah. So that one, that one, that one, then this one, then that one, then that one, yep. then that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah. That one. So just work from the inside out. There's, they do them lots of different ways, but I find this one to make the most sense personally, or even um, yeah, for an even clamp down yeah but That's... you could go those two those two those two those two yeah and, and you could two, yeah so you can go those two. yeah you can go one two three four five like that as well same thing no it's not i just like yeah i don't know it's personal choice Mate, yeah just makes sense to me do not have to make sense to anyone else <laughs> so we are putting the lifters in as you can see we already have put most of them in but we just thought we'd show you so it's just got that little hole that's an oil gallery. Just as simple as that. Slips in, sit on the valve. Make sure that when you do put it in. Yeah, keep it off to the side, makes it so much easier. Yeah, because it like it just yeah, it gets in the way there. So if you put it in sideways then spin it around straight on. Yeah, because it's a super fine clearance. So you wanna have it pretty much bang on lined up and it'll slip straight in for you. But uh yeah, we got four per cylinder. That's it, they're all hydraulic as well, and roller, so the cams will obviously sit on top here, and that is what will open each each valve. Cool, well, we'll get the cams in. It's probably, you could do this just with some motor oil, but we've got assembly lube here. That's the wrong one, mate. I know, I'm just putting it down so I can mush this assembly lube around. So we just thought we might as well, while we've got it, smash a bit of lube in there, and, um, yeah, just like that. Does it matter if you got it on the roller? Nah. That's nah, all just going to disintegrate anyway into the oil. Just for initial startup. Uh, yeah, it's not cheap, this stuff, but it's been re it's really good stuff. Yeah, like it's only it. 20 bucks. Yeah. You don't, you wouldn't want to have to be putting too many motors together, would you? <laughs> so we'll leave it up. But these holes here are your oil galleries. That'll create an oil bearing. Because um, these don't actually have any actual bearings, they just run straight on polished metal. So, do you put one on any in there? Yeah. Yep. That's right, I'll get him. You oh, you get him. Why not? Why not, mate? My hands are ready. My fingers are ready, dirty. Okay. That right, goes so. on yep. like so. Yeah, so good. There we go. Yeah. No. Be sweet, we'll figure that out, but um, yeah. So, you put we'll your cams in, we'll fix this cover cap now. I think fix that first, yep, because this is that the centerpiece, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, well, we'll put that other cam in here, yeah, and then, yeah, yep, we'll just give them a wipe out here, yep.
Wipe them, then we'll lube them. You don't need much of this stuff. That's probably still even too much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. <clears throat> so we'll throw this cam in and um, figure out which where they need to sit as opposed to top dead center and we'll fix this cap. Second cam. It's like yeah, there's a bit of a sweet spot there. Just, yeah, that's up there. Sweet spot. There's a good spot. But yeah, well once those like the they're called cam cradles, aren't they? Yeah. You yeah. Know, once they go on, that'll pull it all down. It'll, yeah, it'll all. But we want to. You want to make sure you get them in the right spot. Yeah, because you don't want to be going and touching valves to pistons. So. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll we'll have a little bit of there. There it is. There it yeah. is. Yeah. We'll double check the owner's manual to see where the top do all that and uh, yeah. The Maverick owner manual or no the Barra owner manual. Uh, so before we talk down these cam caps or, or cradles um go on you gotta set it up top dead center oh don't touch it again ryan top dead center here along there and then so you got a, a pin punch you can line up as your top yeah. and then the other the second way or to confirm it is these these notches all point to the um intake side the buenos notches that's right <laughs> and then we also uh put uh cylinder number one at top dead as well so right at the top yep so pistons pistons up around here or around here yeah, <laughs> yeah. right there you can see it <laughs> uh yeah cool so we'll um yeah, well, what's we'll just... a spark plug what are you talking about <laughs> Liar. so we'll run these caps down yep um and try and get them as close as we can well perfect and then we can start 10 10 newton, 10 newton meters, meters these talk down to uh, we'll just run it down, we'll torque it, but we'll run it down so we're not here all day. Oh, hey. that's yeah. a bit of torque. You want torque, mate? <laughs> nah, they'll flood it all down every time. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Does have to come back over. How do we make it come back to top dead? <laughs> <Don't know yet. laughs> <clears throat> we're done for today we are yeah yep it's about four o'clock now we've got all our cams in timing's done um yeah oil pump we're shooting through it mm. smashing it so yeah. i'm gonna take i'm gonna go do some work tomorrow so i'm gonna take the um rocket cover and stuff and give that a sandblast ready to start painting it in our orange pearl um, and I'll actually got to paint the um, front cover too, so that's just going to go gloss black, hey? Yep. And then the yeah rocker cover is going to go that same orange, yeah. orange pearl, yeah. Yeah. Match the rocker cover with the with the color of the car, which will be lovely. <laughs>